Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Q episode 16. Now the last episode, I show you that we are in a very bearish market and a lot of the coins inside my Royal Q is in the floating loss. Now one of it has already rebound and recover, which is Algo. If we go to coin market cap, and then I'm going to show you my watch list. You can do your own watch list, guys. Just favorite all the coins that you have inside Royal Q in here. You can just add coins right there. Okay. For the algo, you can see the chart right here. In the last one day, it's going up, uptrend. The rest are still bearish. So we can see the rest are in the floating loss, negative 18, negative 23, negative 27, negative 17, negative 26. They are still in the negative. And the reason why is that I don't have enough funds inside my Binance balance as you can see my balance is only $167 okay so it's very wise for you not to play too much coin because your funds is not enough okay just play the coins that your funds can cover I should have played only 8 coins but I play 11 coins in fact but what I did yesterday is that I removed one coin which is mana that coin is outside of the circle that I joined Okay, I manual trade that coin mana, so I need to one shot that coin, and that coin already earned me the profit for mana. You can see uh, yesterday actually earned from mana, and then I manually sell that mana. Okay, in the maybe a bit of loss. Okay, only zero point something, and then now I only have ten coins that I'm playing, which is inside the circle, and today I make profit from algo alone because algo is the only coin out of 10 coins that is in the uptrends as you can see right here if we open algo in the new tab you will see that it's trending up okay so we already uh, go beyond our average price thus we make profit and we continue to make profit if the market is bullish what I want to do next is that I would probably wait for the other coins to rebound because you can see right here all the other coins are still to rebound. We just need to wait, okay? Wait and be patient. I thought it's going to take weeks but it's still only a few days. I'm waiting for the other coins to go just like I'll go right here. What we can do is that we can put in more money, okay? We can manual buy it or we can open margin call. You can see some of the margin call is already paused automatically because I didn't have enough funds in there. Uh, what I would do is that I would top up some money. If you see the Binance now, the reason why I couldn't top up when the market dropped is that you can see at the P2P, the exchange rate is high, guys. It's not normal. It's higher than usual. So we lose money from the exchange rate around 10 percent if we buy one thousand dollar worth of usdt we're gonna lose like hundred dollar okay that is one hundred dollar loss from exchange rate so you gotta be careful with the exchange rate make sure it's really you know it's close to your actual exchange rate you can simply google it your country exchange rate right for my country is around you can see right here 14451 uh, in Binance is 14606 which is a little bit higher I'll probably want to wait until 500 something okay that's probably a wiser to buy USDT in large amount so we won't lose from the exchange rate and then I'm gonna top up probably 1000 and I will I will reduce the floating loss like this that is over 20 percent I'm gonna reduce it and then wait for that coins to rebound and once we take profit we can use the money to buy from other coins okay we can manually reduce the floating loss for other coins okay we gotta do it one at a time you can see my balance right now is only 167 you know i just need to wait for the uh, for this the exchange rate to drop to 14,500 something again depending on your country is going to be different Okay, and that is when I'm gonna top up $1,000 and hopefully we can reduce the floating loss for other coins uh, That's my plan guys. If this doesn't change, I probably would just wait for uh, The market to rebound it probably will take next week or maybe next month who knows but at the end of the day, our money is safe, it's inside Binance, it's inside the coins. We just need to wait for the market 
to rebound okay for all these this market to rebound or we can manually decrease the floating loss and thus the average price goes lower and once it hits the average price we're gonna take profit faster and that's the quick update guys i probably will make some other video not just talking about royal q and also if you want to watch this video right here how i make ten thousand dollar on youtube you can watch this video i will show you how i earn money online apart from cryptocurrency i show you other ways to make money using youtube and affiliate marketing